Hello everyone, this is Dude Blender, and today I want to show you the easiest way to model a house plan in Blender. Blender is actually really good at ArcVis, so let's get started. You need a floor plan. I downloaded a simple one from Google for this specific tutorial. The easiest way to use it as a reference is to drag and drop it. When you do that, the orientation of the image will be perpendicular to the current view, so as you can see, it's tilted. To fix that, you can just go here to the item rotation and zero all axis. Alternatively, you could just press 7 on the numpad to go to top view before dragging the image. Go to front view to make sure that the plan is on the ground plane. If it's not, go to the item tab and zero the Z location. You do want to have everything at scale, and in fact that's why I have this guy right here instead of the default cube. It's always a good idea to have a size reference in your scene. To do that, add a plane, and in the item tab, change the X and Y dimensions according to the plan. I'll use one of the rooms as reference. The room measures 3 by 3 meters, so I'm going to resize the plane to those numbers. Next, scale the plan so that the room matches the size of the plane you just created. I'm going to give this image a little bit of opacity so that I can always see the axis. I'm going to delete the human as I don't need it for this tutorial. With everything in the right size, let's begin. Select the plane and tab into edit mode. Press 3 on the keyboard or click here to enter face select mode. Select the face of the plane and press X to delete it. Make sure you select only faces, otherwise it will delete all of the vertices. This plane is now the first room. Let's trace the rest of the walls. We do that by extruding vertices to map out all of the walls. Select one of the vertices, extrude with E and move the point to the next corner. You can press X or Y to constrain the movement to that axis. You can also turn snapping on to make it easier to snap to whole numbers when you move a vertex. Trace a whole exterior wall in this way. Make sure you're on top view while doing this, otherwise the vertices will end up all over the place. To close the loop, select the last two vertices and press F to form an edge. Now for the interior walls, it's the same process, except that you'll need to split some of the edges. Whenever there is a wall that goes into the house, split that edge by pressing Ctrl R, hover on the edge that you want to split, and you'll see a dot, indicating that that is the edge that will be split. Click and that will split the edge. Now grab the new vertex and press G twice to slide it along the edge. Place it where the walls intersect. I'm going to continue doing this for the rest of the walls. Done. We've got our plan all mapped out. Now, to make the walls, just select everything with A in edit mode, then extrude up by pressing E, then Z to constrain to the Z axis. I want the walls to be 2.7 meters tall, so I type 2.7 and press enter. Now the walls are done. Tab out to object mode. To add depth to the walls, add a solidify modifier. Here you can change the thickness of the wall. I'll type 0.15 for a depth of 15 centimeters. Click on mode and change from simple to complex. As you will find out, there are a few artifacts in some of the walls. They will show up depending on how we extruded each vertex. We're gonna fix them. Go to the Overlays tab and check Phase Orientation. We'll turn the Solidify modifier off for now. You'll see the walls are red and blue now. Blue is the front of the wall and red is the back. We need to have a consistent orientation with all of the walls. This is how we will fix the artifact, so let's do that. Select the wall that's in the wrong orientation and press Shift N. In closed rooms, it will fix the orientation, but sometimes you will specifically need to tell Blender to toggle the orientation with this checkbox. Once the outer walls are done, we need to do the inner walls. Turn the Solidify modifier on and off as needed during the process. Now that we're done with the walls, with the Solidify modifier turned off, select all of the lower vertices of the outer wall and press F to make the floor. Press 3 to go to face select mode and click on the floor. Press P then by selection to separate the floor as we don't want it to have the same modifiers that the wall will have. Tab out of object mode, now select the newly created floor object and remove the solidify modifier. The basic plan is done. Let's add windows and doors. 